Hi, welcome to Online Appliance Tech. Today we're going to go over the Samsung Diagnostic Mode and Error Codes. Let's get started. So let's enter Automatic Test Mode by pressing the Power button and then hit the Delay Start button to 17 hours. Okay, so now we're going to hold the Start button until SC appears or AS appears. And once it appears, just hit the start button once more to activate the automatic test mode. So test mode one is door lock. Here's some common door lock errors. If shows error DS, DL, LO, FL. DS, before operation, causes equals a switch contact error because of a deformation of the door hook when the door is pulled by force. So what this means in the past, someone's yanked on the door, basically the door has gotten weak over time, and the door lock would probably need to be replaced. DL, during operation. This occurs in the boil wash because the door is pushed due to a pressure difference from internal temperature changes. I've personally never come across this problem, so I doubt this will be your issue. LO, unlock fail. FL, lock fail. The door lock switch terminal is connected incorrectly. The door lock switch terminal is broken. This occurs intermittently because of an electric wire leakage, main PCB fault. What I get from this is I would definitely need to make sure my door lock is not defected and my main control board has the correct power output and also check for continuity between the both A and B which is the main board and door lock assembly. Okay, test two drain pump. So if you have uh, water left over in the tub, this is probably for you. Here's a list of common error codes for the drain pump. If shows error ND. ND, drain pump failed. The pump motor impeller is damaged internally. The wrong voltage, 220V right pointing arrow 110V, is supplied to the parts. Part fault this occurs due to freezing in the winter season the drain hose is clogged. Injection error, foreign material, clogged with foreign material the water pump terminal is not connected. Rubber band, bills, cotton, hairpins, coins have collected inside the drain pump assay. At this point I would just ask you if your drain pump is making a noise or if it's trying to pump the water out. If that's the case, you definitely know you're getting the correct power to the pump. And more than likely it's probably clogged with debris or you just have a bad pump. So if you clean it out and it's still not pumping the water out correctly, I would just replace the pump. Okay, test mode 3, cold water inlet valve. Here's a list of common error codes if you're having a faulty cold water inlet valve. If shows error NF, NF1, NF means, foreign material is entering the water supply valve. The water supply valve terminal is not connected, wire disconnected. The warm water and rinse connectors are wrongly connected to each other. This occurs if the PCB terminal from the drain hose to the detergent drawer is not connected. Check whether the transparent hose is folded or torn. Okay, so if I got this error code, the first thing I would do is see if any type of water is coming in. So place it in diagnostic mode, and then if the water is barely coming out, that definitely tells me I am getting power. But however, the valve could be clogged with debris, or the valve is just needs to be replaced. Okay, test four, hot water inlet valve test. This will basically show you the same type of error codes. If shows error NF, NF1. NF means, foreign material is entering the water supply valve. The water supply valve terminal is not connected, wire disconnected. The warm water and rinse connectors are wrongly connected to each other. This occurs if the PCB terminal from the drain hose to the detergent drawer is not connected. Check whether the transparent hose is folded or torn. Okay, so basically you'll take the same steps as the cold water valve, but one thing I did forget to mention is to make sure that your valve is turned all the way on from your wall and make sure your holes are not kinked or even the screens that are inside the water in the hose that comes towards or to the washer. Okay, test mode 6. So we were caught out on this job because the washer was not spinning correctly. So technically at this time this machine should be rotating, which is not. 
Here is a list of common errors you might receive with this problem. Motor driving error and hall sensor error error E3, B, 3E. Possible causes the PBA connector terminal is not connected. The motor spin net is not engaged. The motor's internal coil is damaged, short circuit door cut. The hall sensor terminal is not connected. Foreign material, a screw, has entered the motor. Motor overloaded due to too much laundry, non-sensing. The motor hall sensor terminal is not connected. PBA fault the motor driving error from the PBA is weak, unstable relay operation, etc. This occurs due to erroneous operating signals from the motor hall sensor. The IPM terminal of the main PBA is not connected. The DD motor cover is out of place. The PCB housing terminal is not connected. PBA fault DD motor fault. Okay, at this point I would just basically put in a test mode 6 or 8 and then activate the motor control board, test my output power from my motor control board, then unplug it and check the resistance or windings on my motor and also check the hall sensor. Okay, and this is test mode 6 after we fix it and replace the motor control board. We will make a future video to show you exactly how to test and fix. So just so we don't get confused, we did uh, turn the machine off and go into manual test mode. So this is test 7, the drain pump. And here's a list again of common errors for drain pump problems. Drain error ND. Possible causes the pump motor impeller is damaged internally. The wrong voltage, 220V right pointing arrow 110V, is supplied to the parts. Part fault this occurs due to freezing in the winter season the drain hose is clogged. Injection error, foreign material, clogged with foreign material the water pump terminal is not connected, rubber band, bills, cotton, hairpins, coins have collected inside the drain pump assay. Okay, test a high speed spin test, so this will basically just make sure that your motor control, your hall sensor, your motor is working well. Once again, we'll show you a list of common error codes that you may get if you have a problem with the spin or the motor or so forth. And here soon we'll actually show you how to put this machine in manual test mode so you can activate the test like you see in this video. Motor driving error and hall sensor error error E3, B, 3E. Error E3. Possible causes the PBA connector terminal is not connected. The motor spin net is not engaged. The motor's internal coil is damaged, short circuit door cut. The hall sensor terminal is not connected. Foreign material, a screw, has entered the motor. Error 3E. Motor overloaded due to too much laundry, non-sensing. The motor hall sensor terminal is not connected. PBA fault the motor driving error from the PBA is weak. Unstable relay operation, etc. Error BE. This occurs due to erroneous operating signals from the motor hall sensor. The IPM terminal of the main PBA is not connected. The DD motor cover is out of place. The PCB housing terminal is not connected. PBA fault DD motor fault. Okay, test 9, it just activates the uh, exhaust fan test and the heater. And test 10 just unlocks the door. Okay, let's get started for the manual test mode. Okay, press the power button, then press the delay start button till you get to 1700 hours. Then hold the start button until S, E, or A, S appears. Okay, great, so hit delay in, and you'll go to test mode one, which is the door lock, and then you'll press again, and this is the drain pump. Basically, this is just a good way to test different types or different parts of the machine to activate the thoroughly diagnose your issue. Test 3, and we'll hit again. We'll go to test 4. This is the cold water. It's kind of the same way as the automatic, but in this case, you have control of the test. Here's your hot water. We we'll hit again. We got six, and since we got the machine working now, it's actually working the way it's supposed to work. Clockwise, counterclockwise. This shows that the motor control board is working fine, and the main control in the hall sensor and motor. And this is seven. 
And we have test eight, which is our spin test. So I guess at this point you kind of got the concept and then you'll just keep on pressing it until you get to test 10, unlock the door. Then press one more time until SE appears and just press the power button to get out. Well, I hope this video was helpful and please like and subscribe for more future testing videos. Have a good day.